Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Uh, today, we are working on setting up our home lab environment. Uh, this particular video will be installing DHCP on our lab network. So without further ado, hop into your hypervisor or uh, bare metal host if that's what you're using. Um, today, we're using uh, VMware ESXi. Um, we have a couple of hosts over in the background there. Um, pardon the basement, my office we're renovating. Um, so we'll, we'll jump on lab DC01 that we created in one of our previous videos. I'll put the link up here. So we'll go into the console, open it, and we will send the control alt delete command like so. Once you're logged into your server, you wanna open up server manager here and you want to go to tools and you want to go to DHCP. First, we've got to create our scope here so that our, our uh, workstation and any other machines that we join to this lab network can get an IP address and talk on the network. We're going to use IPv4 because that's what I use here in the lab. We're going to right click on this IV, IPv4 uh, link here and click new scope. We're going to go through the scope wizard. Um, we're going to do lab scope and this is used in the lab network right so something for you newer guys out there or younger guys in the field um, that are just starting out doesn't matter what it is uh that you're uh that you're working on i don't care if it's a switch port i don't care if it's somebody in uh, or a user in active directory a computer in active directory get descriptive uh being descriptive in your naming and your actual uh, descriptions here um, will help future techs that are working on the system. Plus, you know, if you do something and then in six months from now you come back and look at it, you might say, "Well, I, I don't, I don't remember what I named this, so uh, or why, you know, what this is used for." So, uh, when you when you build something out, definitely put descriptions in, put names in. Um, you know, if this were a production environment, you know, I would do something like you know VLAN 55 scope. Uh, this is used for uh, the production, oops, if I could spell, uh, server network on VLAN 55, you know, something like that. So that when somebody comes in and looks at it, you know, they can, they can totally identify what it is, what it's used for, and what its purpose is. So today we're going to do lab scope because that is what we are working on. Uh, this is used in the lab and is... Uh, the dot 10 subnet something along those lines you know whatever helps you remember or is descriptive to future text so go ahead and click next and because we're doing 10.10.10 uh, .10 um, we're going to start at 100 and we're going to do 10.10 oops dot 10 dot 1 25 because it's not going to be there's not going to be it's a lab network so um subnet mask will be 255 255 255 it's a slash 24 that we're using um we are not going to add any exclusions or anything so we can click next uh, lease duration standard is eight days that's fine for most networks um want to configure the options now sure we can do that uh, router is your default gateway. So in this case, um, and, and I don't have one on my lab network because it's a full virtual network, but if it were, um, you know, you could give it an address. That's fine. Uh, parent domain in this case, again, lab.lan. Um, and then we will give it the other domain controller, which is 10.10.10.20. It's validating that. And then we go. So it'll hand these two out in the uh, DHCP offer, and uh, you'll be able to, uh, you know, that that's that's your DNS, both your DNS servers. We're not using Win, so we can ignore that for the moment. You want to activate the scope. Um, this is this is for if you wanted to, you know, if you just wanted to build the scope and you weren't ready to activate it quite yet, you could select no, and it and it wouldn't activate it. It wouldn't uh, wouldn't respond to DHCP requests. But because we're going to activate it, it will. So we'll click finish. And now, now your scope is live. And there are no leases here yet. So let's go over to 
our test VM here and see if we can get it to grab an address. So open up a command prompt. You see just the 169 address in there. So let's see, IP config release. Renew. Let's see if it goes and grabs an address. Yeah, we'll click yes, that's fine. Let's open up our lab machine over here and see if we can see a lease happening. There we go. So there's our we haven't I haven't changed the name on this yet. Um, but there's our there's our lab, our lab test01 PC. So let's close this. Let's go back over to our, our Windows 10 uh, machine here and open up the console. There we go. I don't know why that hung for a second, but now, now you can see it's on lab.lan or, or the domain that the DNS domain is lab.lan. Default gateway is there and the IP of the machine is there. So let's close this guy out here. Well, guys, that covers how to configure DHCP on your Windows 2019 server in your lab environment. Uh, we covered going over uh, setting up the scope and uh, activating it and verifying that your lab test machine or your test VM actually got an IP address. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe below. Turn on your little bell, your post notification, so you can see when I post the latest video. Please leave me a comment. Uh, send me a message. Uh, you can also follow along. I have a little blog site, achubber.com. I'll put the link in the description. I've got some write-ups over there. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you later.